What is up, everybody? Welcome back to On Thin Ice, a podcast where Peyton and I discuss icebreaker oh, questions. I did the you thing. You see that? Yeah, how do you like it when someone interrupts your intro with weird noises? You can suck the fart out of my shorts. I told you this once, I'll tell you again. You, you give me a fart to <laughs> suck on. <laughs> Well, That's what's we just, going down. We just lost all three of our viewers. Anyway. Um, three? <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, so we are two idiots who make idiot soup, and we drink stupid milk. I'm an idiot with a degree. Yeah, I don't have one of those. I have a high school diploma. I mean, you gotta Fuck work with what you got, you know what I mean? But uh, Fucking nerd. Yeah, I know. Any uh, yeah, we are just, usually we just banter for a little bit. I'm a little bit all over the place because I've got a really shit-ass toothache right now that's making me a little bit loopy, and um, it's going to ramble for a minute, and then we're going to get into it. We're going to get ask an icebreaker question and uh, see what each other's answers are. And by the title of this video that you guys have already seen, I'm sure this is going to be a pleasant one. Um... I'm still gonna sit here and act like I didn't just put in that icebreaker question to the list and you're not stealing it. I'll act surprised, don't worry. For the audience sake, I, I'll act surprised. You don't even have to. I am I make no bones about the fact that I stole it. I have no shame. I do not care. If you had not opened up with the reason why you put it on the list, I wouldn't have picked it. <laughs> but you oh, yeah. you did this to yourself. <laughs> Uh, but before we keep teasing it, what kind of toothache do you have? Actually, do you, have you gotten X-rays or anything? Do you I have like do a not, rotted tooth? I don't have a clue. It just happened today, like like an hour ago. It just happened. I don't know what. Ha I don't know brushing? why. Yes, I brush my teeth regularly. I don't know what the fuck happened. I was eating. I did. I was eating a burrito with nothing hard on it. There was nothing solid at all. So it's not like I chipped it or busted it or anything. And uh, it was just my leftovers from earlier, my leftover Chipotle. And I got finished with it, and I threw my trash away, and I sat on the couch, and then all of a sudden this sharp-ass pain just starts shooting into my fucking tooth. And I was like, oh, I guess I'll die. I mean, I, I don't know what else to do, because this fucking hurts. I'm not even kidding. I almost blacked out. I almost blacked out. Um, <clears throat> that anyway. is fucked. Yeah, I don't know. Toothaches, you can... S Anytime I feel like I hear someone say toothache, it's like, okay, pussy, it, drink water or something. But having a toothache, your teeth are so sensitive and they're connected to parts of your brain. That's this, why this whole when you side get a of my toothache, face right here hurts. Yeah, when you get a toothache, your whole fucking head is usually yeah. in splitting pain. That's why you need to get dental work done before you're 30 and you end up hurting all the time. I say that I'm not going to the dentist. I hate the dentist. I Fuck hate, him. I hate the dentist too, but dude, if this continues, I'm gonna have to. This shit fucking hurts, man. <laughs> anyway, it's not nearly as bad as it was. I'm not kidding. I I like I immediately ran to the bathroom and started like looking into my mouth through like in a mirror just to see if there was something wrong with it because like that's how bad it hurt. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with my tooth. I don't know. I don't know what it is. So, anyway, um, yeah, what you been up to? <coughs> Got any movie updates or anything? Um, I mean, I probably have movie updates. I didn't bring them up here with me. You would enjoy this, though. Went to Goodwill. My, my Goodwill that I go to always has the best shit when it comes to movies. They had all three. Lord of the Rings, special edition, extended DVDs. Yeah, so they... Wow. So they come in like this really cool looking collector case and you pop it out, it folds open, it's got maps and shit in it. Nice. So I'm going to end up watching the, the actual movies at some point now. Everyone can stop their, their bitching. I got my extended release DVDs and uh, VHS. Well, the VHSs are theatrical, but mm. they're sitting in that pile right there. I just have, I don't, I'm in the process of moving if anybody couldn't tell uh, I'm in a new place and um, no you just painted it white like I tried we just didn't do it on stream yeah we'll go with that <laughs> um, oh 
uh, yeah, Lord of the Rings. Speaking of which. Yeah, 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 more Lord of the Rings. This is something more that I, I mean, I've tried showing this before, but it was hanging up on my wall, so it was hard to show, but it's my, uh, it's a canvas print. It's got the Fellowship, Two Towers, and Return of the King framed very nicely. And uh, it's pretty fucking sick. It's kind of hard to see in this light, but at least on camera. Pretty cool, though. Um, yeah, I've just got stuff everywhere. Um, but, uh, yeah. Oh, shit, what just happened? What? What do you mean? Oh, no. What? Jacob, are you hearing me still? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, why can't I hear you now? What's I can, happening? I can hear and see you. Happening. I can see and hear you. Everything's just falling fine. apart in real time. I can't hear you. I can't hear anything. I can hear That's and see fun. you just fine. Okay, I can Hi, hear Cora. you again. We have visitors. This is Cora. Hi. You gonna go to sleep? Yeah. You going night night? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good night. Hey, go see mommy. <laughs> night night, Emmy. She's too curious. There's a bunch of stuff. She's looking at all the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, go see mommy, please. Cora, come on. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Night night. Bye, small children. Yeah, I just went through um, all hell because it. I just got three notifications saying PC requires a, a restart. I heard. And, uh, I heard and seen you the whole time. I don't know what you were talking about. Okay. Like you weren't because, even frozen. <laughs> well, there was a time when the little, like the window around this wasn't glowing up green, so I thought you couldn't hear me, and you also weren't responding to me. You just kept fucking talking. I was like, okay, either he's ignoring me and going on about Lord of the Rings, or he can't hear me. And I just tried to switch my... I just... I put the input device... It doesn't matter. No one cares. It all fell apart, but it's back together. I was going to say, I heard and see, seen you. I mean, you didn't even freeze as far as I could tell. Unless it was when I was looking at the picture. Okay, well, I got a flash of, like, a hundred different warnings. It was like <laughs> when I start my car. and just fucking panic. <laughs> uh, other news update. The, the best, awesomest thing ever. Uh, big shout out, go follow them. If you're a fellow virgin like myself, uh, Funko Finders on Instagram, they are like ahead of the game when it comes to showing pre-orders for Funko Pops that are going to get released. And they will also usually put a link in the description even though it's Instagram and they don't do fucking hyperlinks still because they're 30 years old. Um... They're doing Godzilla Funko Pops, and it's not the shitty ones anymore. Right. They have a Shin Godzilla Funko Pop, and I pre-ordered that shit as fast as I could. But apparently, you have to you have to type in the little tiny URL that is on the um, in the description of the Instagram post. So even when I went to go check Instagram, the thing wasn't popping up. But when I typed in that specific URL, it threw the thing into my cart, pre-ordered that. So yes, if you enjoy. Funko Pops, if you're obsessed and you have too many like I do in this office, uh, give them a follow because they, yeah, they're ahead of everything. They'll let you know super early when stuff's coming out. It's nice, nice to see. I don't like to be surprised when things are uh, like 10, 100% above market value and I can't order it at that point. Yeah, no, I feel you. I still have my same seven Funko Pops or something, or nine, nine. I know it's an odd number. All right, let me, uh, let me do an update on it's, it's how many I have. The number has gone up. I have so many Funko Pops on pre-order right now, it's fucking stupid. I have, we have 187 Funko Pops. <laughs> Jesus. What and for some reason, fuck? <clears throat> I, I don't know why, this can even show up, but Shuri hmm. 
is our most expensive, and she's sitting up, up there. Yeah, on the very far end, you can't see her, but she's in one of those um, one of those hard cases, one of those uh, collector art series ones. Nice. Sitting at four hundred and ten dollars. Hell yeah. Don't nice. know why, but it's you could, cool. You could sell that one and get like a hundred more. I know, right? And if it's the Funkos that I like, they're usually fucking dirt cheap because no one likes what I'm into. I wouldn't sell Shuri though. Shuri's sick. I like Shuri. Yeah. Oh, the other, the actual sort of movie show update. I'm still doing weeb stuff uh, at my job. I have plenty of downtime, so I've been watching Neon Genesis Evangelion. It got really fucking dark. I've heard. Really dark. I've really heard it quickly. Gets pretty dark. Episode 16, and after that, everything turned around. I have one more episode to go, and then I'm done with that, and I'll start watching the movies. But it got so dark, I had to stop watching it and go watch Charlie eat hot shit on YouTube because because I needed something joyful and comforting. Nice. Dude, I have not kept up on the fucking the other channel stuff with Charlie. I uh, Oh, it's, it's always good. The other channel always has fun stuff. I, I missed the last few because I've just been... I've just been moving, so I haven't really had any time. And then <clears throat> most of my downtime, I've been helping move Deanna and Chelsea as well here. So I just, if I'm not moving something, I'm helping somebody else move something. Um, and then between that, babies. So Making babies. That too, but also watching babies. Um, yeah, it's just been... It's just been hectic, so I have not kept up with the other channel. I haven't seen the last few Oompaville videos. I usually keep up on him pretty pretty regularly. Um, and I <clears throat> haven't picked the boys back up, so I still have to I still have to start season three. Yeah. And like I you you have to watch Gen V after. You will miss critical information if you don't watch Gen V after season three and before season four. Normally I wouldn't post, or I wouldn't show this because why would I, but this is just too funny not to show. Cheeks is calling me. Cheeks is calling gonna, me again. We this, gonna get him on the pod? This is, like the, this is like the fourth or fifth time he's called us in the middle of recording something. <clears throat> That's why I keep my phone on silent. Somehow, not, not that he when I record, record or... still. When I record or stream, that's when I get the most calls and messages. Nice. No other time of day. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got a missed call from Cheeks. I have two Snapchat notifications and an Instagram notification already. And I had none before we started, so. Urgence. What the hell? Urgency. Man? Anyway. You got anything else uh, you're cooking up, working on? Toby and I... Get are going to be recording if if it goes as smoothly as this is going right now because it was not working yesterday. Toby and I are going to be recording a uh, reaction video to some Call of Duty shit. Can't wait for oh, that. Um, I, I saw the trailer for zombies and there wasn't a zombie in the trailer and I was like, ah, why did I fall for this? There wasn't? No, it was did something... You, it, did you watch the right trailer? <laughs> probably not. It was just something that came up on TikTok. It was like, first look at um, Black Ops 6 zombies trailer and yeah they didn't show any zombies I was, it was gonna just say some, the trailer that, some fuck... trailer that dropped had a ton of zombies in it okay well this is something else then entirely uh, oh. this is probably a spoiler but I don't know if you or anyone cares about lore at this point anymore I just want good gameplay honestly but some dude just drops in and he's like Edward Richtofen stole my work and we're gonna fucking get him back and then they release some the, gr the group of the cast, I'm guessing, from yeah. some prison cells. Yeah. Yeah. That, I'm not uh, excited at all. Well, we watched the game, or not the gameplay footage. We watched the trailer that had the like the stuff in it or whatever. And I, I guess I'll go ahead and say spoilers if anybody gives a fuck. But it looked like there's two whole new perks, brand new perks that were not in the game before. So that was kind of exciting. Um. Some of the new zombies do look kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Uh, there's also a, I think, a mech that you can get into, or it's a, it's a, 
there's it might be a perk too i don't know but there's something you inject into yourself and you get like really strong and shit i don't know what the fuck that's all about um adrenaline but no but like you grow i think i think you get big like massive or something i don't know i'll have to go back and watch it again um and i was kind of pissed off about how good it looked to be honest because i don't want it to look good i was looking for every single thing that i could to shit on it for and yep. for some reason it actually it actually did look kind of sick however toby and i are going to be reacting to the gameplay footage that got released um just kind of going over it and seeing if gameplay is going to hold up to that trailer because the biggest problem is they can put out a banger ass trailer call of duty can just do that they can put out a, a sick ass trailer that gets people hyped and yep. looking for the, the the coolest shit in it or whatever but is that going to translate to new gameplay because the biggest part that was lacking in my head was the fact that this map just looks like firebase c from cold war no if you take fire if you take firebase c from cold war and just make it an island instead of a wherever it's at that's pretty much what this looks like and i was like firebase z wasn't that good <laughs> why are we copying that map <laughs> of all things you know like i i don't get it but anyway and instead of a prison or whatever it looks like a facility of some kind but i don't know i don't know i don't know what the deal is i i think that i don't trust call of duty i don't trust activision and it's it sucks to say but i'm i'm kind of losing faith in treyarch as well so oh yeah we'll see but i want to see uh just round one the second you purchase the first door you're in the fucking mall from dead rising and you just have a billion zombies <laughs> to worry about that would be sick i'm worried that the fr the second you open the first wall you're going to be met with a uh like a microtransaction or baylor you a have baylor to, holding a microtransaction you have to you have to spend actual real life money to open doors or something <laughs> that'd be cool That'd be awesome. That'd be, that'd be sick. That's a power play, honestly. No, that's fucked. Um, and I also want to see how the gobble gums work because if you gotta pay to get gobble gums like you did before, let's not do that. Well, what what kind of pay? Like liquid divinium pay, or do you mean yeah, like, like if you can just buy liquid divinium and get a fuck ton of gobble gums or whatever? Yeah. That's just enticing people to spend more money. On a company that doesn't deserve it, doesn't need it, um, and I don't like that. It's just scummy to me. So if there's a way to earn gobble gums in game, that's that's the pro move there. That's the big win. But if, I you, want... if you buy liquid divinium and you can just get endless amounts of gobble gums, it's fucked from the get go. I don't care. I like leveling up to unlock guns, but I do think you should be able to get XP for weapons no matter what rank you are, and maybe when you unlock it it's that rank, it has all that shit on it because, I know, I think it was Black Ops 3 where if you weren't a high enough level and you get the dingo out of the box you no matter how much you use it, you're not accruing anything for it, so by the time you unlock it, you haven't gotten anything and I don't want that, and I, I would like if there's a microtransaction Make everything purely cosmetic that you can get yeah, out of yeah. the fucking things. Don't Cosmetics, make it something to skins, win. whatever, yeah. Anything like that. But gobble gums are not cosmetic. You put my fucking PTSH <coughs> behind a, a paywall, fuck you. I'll just play Scar Ritual like I'm doing already. I, yeah, I'll just get it off the wall by. Yeah, fuck all that. But I, I don't know. I think that I think that gobble gums are fun, and I want them to be in the game, but I do not want you to be able to buy them with liquid divinium. Or, or whatever. I don't want you to be able to buy them at all. I want you to just be able to earn them through game. Or a gameplay currency that you can get in-game. Like, I, I don't know how it works, but I just... I don't know. We're going to look at it. Hopefully it kind of explains a little bit that in the, a little bit of that in the gameplay footage that we're going to look at, but uh, we'll see. And... I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm so fed up with the back-and-forth, bipolar, toxic relationship I have with Call of Duty that like I I don't even I don't even want to buy it if I do think it looks good. You know what I mean? Like I don't even I don't even want to tempt it. 
because, was, uh, because Cold War was good f- at first. Cold War was good at first. Like, Cold Dem- War was okay at first. No, no, no. It was playable. No, no, no. Almost. D-Machine, Toby and I ate the fuck out of it. Toby and I played the shit out of D-Machine. The new stuff that came with it, like the armor and the uh, the way that the perks worked and the upgrades or whatever, like those were super fun. We loved the shit out of those, and we played the absolute hell out of Deep Machine. And they took an old map and did something cool with it that wasn't just a remake. It wasn't just a remaster of, of Nocturne and Toten. It was an expansion of Nocturne and Toten. That was fun. That was a yeah. way to tick off my nostalgia box without it being a direct copy and paste of the original one. That's what I want to see. I want to see them do shit like that with Buried, or Transit, or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I want to see those maps with the same treatment as as Nocturne and Toten did with D-Machine. That's what I liked. But every map after that was just, a, just another downfall after another downfall after another downfall because Firebase Z, first time we played it, oh, this is kind of cool. Second time we played it, man, this map sucks cock. I fucking hate this map. This is not good. <laughs> Um, and then yeah. any other map that came after that? A matter of fact, I don't even think I played the last map that came out because it got to the point where the last map came out and I was like, yeah, okay. There's a new map. I'm gonna go play fucking Minecraft. I don't care. I don't wanna I don't wanna touch this. This is the dumbest thing. So yep. that's why I don't wanna buy it. Even if it even if it looks good, even if I know the first map's probably gonna be a banger, it's probably gonna f- be fire just like we liked uh, D Machine. I don't trust it. I don't trust it to be consistent at all. No, I don't either. But I, don't know, I guess we'll see. Maybe in like, maybe in like a couple months down the road after we've gotten several maps, and I'm able to see that it is consistent. Maybe, maybe I'll buy it on gotta, sale. But they gotta drop Chronicles two at some point. They they have to have heard that everybody wants Chronicles two. Oh, dude, people have wanted Chronicles two since Chronicles one was done. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's been a while. But anyway, we've been rambling for a while, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and get into it, especially because we're already talking about something relatable. Zombies, guns, killing people, gobble gums. So my question for you today, because it is just a perfect transition, it just slides right into the question, really. Um, I bet it is. Is, uh, do you think that family, the family that we have, whether it be uh, chosen family or blood relatives, However you want to think about this, or, or whatever it was that sparked the reason you put it on the fucking list to begin <laughs> yeah. with. Do you think that family matters? Fuck. No, no, I'm <laughs> kidding. But uh, I, I like that you, you tried to extend it a bit, because I didn't give you any context besides putting the, the title of that Yeah, I, there. I had no idea what you were talking about. And just now that we've... Now the cat's out of the bag, even though the, obviously the question was in the title. Uh, when he, he was literally typing this, and I was looking at our doc while he was typing it, and he was like, <laughs> I have to add this to the list because of where I just came from. So yep. naturally I wanted to pick it because he didn't tell me what the fuck any of this meant. So I was like, all right, well, you just you did this to yourself. This is the one I'm picking. So I'm going to ramble on this for a bit, but I know that you and I have a dichotomy okay. about this subject because... You have family that uh, it seems like loves you and you love them and you all care about each other. I don't. So. That's fair. Uh, I mean, I, I understand. My grandma is always trying to get me involved in family shit. I don't know anybody in my family. I cut out my parents for good reason. I think it's supposed to be healthier for me. I get hung up on it a lot, but it's supposed to be. I'm in the healing process, right? I got 20-some years of trauma. I got to fucking ease my way out of that by cutting off the bad people. Right. My grandparents are not bad people. And it was, it took me like 23 years before I finally let them know that, like, hey, uh, I've been, like, abused and whatnot, and it hasn't been good, so I don't really want to connect with people all that much. But uh, my grandma is a sweet person who I think genuinely cares. She's just a little racist every now and again, a little homophobic. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> whose, grandparent, whose grandparents aren't, right? Uh, I think all of, all of mine are dead. <laughs> okay. Except for, I guess my grandpa heard, but that was by mar- marriage. She's not like a blood relative. But my grandma calls me saying that there is going to be some family event where family is coming out from San Diego, California to Illinois. Why would they do that? I don't, I don't know. I asked one of them there. I was like, why? Why are you here? 
but I didn't know a single face when I got there. Uh, and my mom is like, I need you to meet someone really important, okay? And I'm like, is my mom hooking up with another fucking bad man? Is he? Sh- but, is she showing me my real dad? <laughs> please, <laughs> please tell me Aaron wasn't my real dad. You gonna give me some good news? But she she points to this super old lady in a chair and she's like, "That's the matriarch." I'm like, mom, do you know what the what, do you know what matriarch means? And she's like, "This is your um your great grandfather's um wife or whatever. Your your so it'd be like my my great grandma or some shit like that." But she's like, she is the last of that generation. So she's like the elder, the family elder, all right? right? Super important somehow, I guess. I've never met her before, never spoken to her. So she can't be and every... important. <laughs> no, obviously not. <laughs> I'm the main character, <laughs> right? Well, usually usually but, for a matriarch, just about everybody knows them at, the, at least, you know? Yeah. Like for a matriarch figure... In a family, specifically, like my grandma on my dad's side was the matriarch of that family. Like our our that was the matriarch. She passed away, our whole fucking family went to shambles. Like Jesus. like bad. When she passed away, dude, uh fuck we we don't even talk to most of that family anymore because they just everything blew up. Because dude, there God. was no th- that figure wasn't there anymore, so Usually, if they're a matriarch figure, uh, some kind of figure like that, everybody at least knows about them. They may not contact them all the time or communicate them with them all the time, but they at least know them. So the yeah. fact the fact that you didn't even know who this person was, um, she couldn't well, it's, couldn't have been that bad. No, it's no surprise either that I don't know because I didn't know a single face there except for uh, my. I think he would be my uncle. His name's Johnny, but. Um, yeah, I didn't know her, and my mom is is talking to her and introducing me as her son, so I'm her great great grandson or some shit like that. And uh, this old lady is telling her, I think Leora was her name or some shit like that, but she's telling her, like, it's so great that we're all here together to see each other at these family events, and what all we leave behind are our children. And that line really got me thinking, because I looked right at my mom, and the first thought I had was, man, you fucked up with your child. (laughs) You fucked up really bad. God damn. Because your child doesn't really want to be around you. Yeah. What you leave behind is don't put your name on it, because it might not always want to be like that. Like, I'm not... Yeah. I don't want to have these family ties to people I don't know about anything. Um... And some other shit ends up happening at the stupid family event, too. People are coming up and talking to me. It was super uncomfortable because some old lady stands up and she's like, all right, let's go around and introduce ourselves. No. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Hang on. I had to I you couldn't leave. You should, have said, you should have said, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me, I'm going to swear I'm going to stop you right there. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. How about we don't? How about we don't fucking do that? How about we keep things ex- we keep things exotic and casual at the same time, and I don't tell you who I am or what I'm up to. Yeah, I don't know you. How about I how about I but, stay a mystery to a lot of you? But that happened. That happened. We went around in a fucking circle and did that. And when we got like to, to me, I'm like, oh hi, I'm I'm Peyton. I wasn't expecting to introduce myself outside the classroom, and I like and I told them I like I said I like to play the the quiet shy guy role around people I don't know. And this is the most talking I've ever done. This is who I'm related to here. And we all had to do that. Followed by a fucking prayer. A goddamn prayer. No. Some old some old fucker stands up and he's like, Thank you, God. I know we're traditionally a Christian family. And I'm just looking around all these heads down. And I'm like, what's... Not me. No, could be me, dude. Fuck all that. Could not be me. I try to. I try to be like... I try to be as polite as possible in situations like that, if I can be, but I'm not even fucking with you. There's been times at, like, Thanksgivings and shit where we've done, like, well, we, I say, but, like, my family has started a prayer or something. I'm a, I'm already eating, dude. I'm just over there, like, <laughs> I don't give a fuck about anything that you're saying right now. I'm hungry, and this is the only holiday that anybody celebrates food in. That's That makes me happy. But the fact that you guys yeah. are waiting longer to eat, you guys are fucking drinking the idiot juice because 
I am eating right now, okay? Fuck this prayer shit, dude. I don't know about all that. <laughs> don't interrupt my eating with your fucking seance. Yeah, Get what the here. hell? So yeah, yeah, prayers, normally, it used to be what I would do, out of respect, is I would just put my put my hands together like this, like, to, I guess you can't say I got a black shirt on, but I was stand, and I would just, I would bow my head, and I would stay silent. I'm not going to say the prayer, because that's oh. not for me. Yeah, fuck But that. also, I would, I would be respectful about it and stay quiet, but it's gotten to the point where I've realized they wouldn't respect my religious beliefs, so I'll just keep my head up. I'll stay quiet, but I'll just not participate. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at nowadays. So all that junk happens, and then another man comes up to me, and this happens at every family event. Ask me my age. Very early on. He's like, how old are you? I'm like, I'm 24. He's like, oh, I was going to ask if you had a driver's license. Like, fuck you. I should have. I should. <laughs> I should have told him. That was funny. Should have told him no, but I know you got one because you're in an electric scooter. <laughs> 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 but I didn't because I'm nice sometimes. Oh, dude, you should have ripped him a new one. I, dude. Fuck that. And then I come to my podcast to talk about it. But then also, what gets me almost worse than my age. <laughs> uh, we're talking about school because he's a teacher. We have a lot of teachers in the family, apparently, and he's and he's saying like, yeah, you might have to, a coach. I had to coach whatever sport. You might end up coaching something. Uh, and he said the prob the problem was for him. He had to tell kids to starve themselves for wrestling so that they could meet the requirement, yeah, the which is already tri triggering. And he's like, that shouldn't be a problem for you though. Stop. Yeah. Excuse me? <laughs> you stupid what? bitch. I don't know you, but I have struggled with weight my entire fucking life. Yeah, same. Because of people saying shit like that. Yeah. So all this happens, and, and fuck all, and I, I'm about to say goodbye to my grandma. First one to leave, me, thank God. And she's telling me, um, she's like, well, maybe you and uh, you and Sarah will come out here uh, at some point, and you'll host one of these. And I'm like, mm, Yeah, we'll no. be doing that. <laughs> No, and she's like, oh, gives me the grandma eyes. She's like, oh, Peyton, you, I got this same speech when I was younger too, but the, the family you have matters, and uh, it's really important to be connected with these people and your heritage and all that. And getting out of that horrible fucking nightmare and all the other stories I could tell about family events, I just thought, does family matter? And your specifically like blood relatives, because I am of the mindset that family is not chosen through blood or religion. It is who you love that yeah. you consider your family. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 dude, I'm with you. I, I do. Okay, I, I obviously can't relate to the whole like parents thing because I mean my parents. I mean, you've met my parents. My parents are awesome. I mean, I, they I, got everything in the garage you'd ever need. Everything in the garage that you could ever possibly need. And if they don't, it's in the house somewhere. So, <laughs> yeah. one way or another, like I, I, I love my parents to death. Um, I haven't always had a great relationship with my parents. My dad was deployed a lot, so I didn't really get to see him a whole lot anyway. Um, and then when he was home, he was kind of in charge of the disciplinary shit. So, it wasn't <laughs> really breaking the PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't really a good like solid foundation for a relationship with him um and my mom as well i love my mom to death and i would probably kill for my mom like i'm not kidding like if someone fucked with my mom you're fucking with me like i i don't care okay my mom is one of the greatest people on this planet uh she gives way too much yeah. she takes too much shit and uh i i owe her a lot i owe her a lot okay but by no means whatsoever does that extend past that other than my siblings obviously <laughs> dna and Caden, i love to death as well yeah. but like like any of my family past that depending on who they are and their relationship with me i don't dude i don't care I don't care. I, I have I have family that I have cut ties with. I started cutting ties with a lot of my family years and years ago, and I'm telling you right now, once you get past once you get past the 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 stuff that was drilled into your head growing up about 
needing family and you have to you have to be close to them and the closer you are the better and all that stuff like once you get past that whole fucking bullshit in your head like the mental the mental side of it it's so therapeutic to not I have bet. to that to not have to think about that one uncle that said some stupid racist shit at a fucking thing one time or <laughs> like you don't have to think about your fucking cousins that walked out on your grandma's funeral to go get tattoos or you don't have to worry about your fucking aunt that was just arrested for a meth overdose or some shit Wait, you know what i mean like you don't have to think about any yeah. of that shit because none of those people fucking matter okay mm-hmm. I, I have aunts i have uncles that i i love and that's where it stays i don't go out of my way to talk to them i don't go out of my way to hang out with them if they're there they're there cool i'll kind of catch up here and there maybe but i just like talking to people so that just that's just is what it is and then i have aunts and uncles that will be also at that family gathering that i will not even i won't even look in their direction i'll go talk to somebody else i'll go hang out with deanna i'll go fucking talk to my mom i'll go fuck around with my dog you know like i'm i'm not i'm just not gonna associate with you and it makes me feel good knowing that they are there they're curious they probably want to know what i've been up to and i just won't let them know because i don't care I I just wish I could understand the uh, the mindset that these older generations over me are having where family is so important that someone can do the most heinous fucking thing ever and they can be exiled by the family. That can happen. It's weird that it happens, but it can happen. But you can also have shit like just drama stirring at the grouping, but... It's because of namesake, you're still like, I have to put up a face and be around this person. I I don't get that. Like, so, I, I don't usually go up and tell someone to their face I don't like them, but if my mom were to be like, <coughs> what's going on with us, I would, I would tell her just straight to her face. I'd be like, this is a problem I'm having. You know it because I wrote it to you, and you wrote it to me because you can't fucking remember anything. Yeah. No, I, I think it stems from, like generations ago with like dynasties and families like family trees and stuff owning a a portion of the the their life you know like it, their their family just passing down things from generation to generation to generation there's some like weird power connection with it you know and yeah. there's some kind of weird pride with it too especially with like with like medieval stuff you know like there's obviously the the royal families that are getting handed down power and money and uh, status and all that stuff, right? But you yeah, also well, but you also have like farmers that pass down their farm stuff and their farmstead and their belongings and stuff. That's also a very big prestigious thing, and I think that's where it all stems from. But today, none of that matters, dude. Like when my no. when my parents pass away, they'll probably put me and Dina and Caden in their will to take their stuff or whatever, but none of that matters to me. I don't care. I don't care about their house. I don't care about their money. I don't care about their fucking... I don't care about their big-ass yard. I mean, it'll, it'll be cool to have a portion of that, you know? And I'll have some stuff for keepsakes, of course, but... I'm gonna be real with you, dude. I'm selling most of that shit that's been given to yeah. me, you know? I'm, I'm doing the same thing with our farmland when we inherit that stuff. Like, I, like... If, it, if I know in my heart that it is special to my parents or whatever, like specifically something that's special to them, obviously I'll keep it, you know, but what the fuck am I going to do with everything else? <laughs> I've got I've got a trove of treasures that I've collected myself over the years. I don't... A <laughs> trove of treasures? Like, I love it. For, for real, dude, I've got, I've got shit that I, I don't need, but I love it. I want it, and I, I just... It is what it is. Yeah. Most of it's rocks shiny rocks because I'm a fucking goblin but I don't know dude well, I think I think there's more importance held in friends these days I think a lot of importance has been sh- shifted to friends than it has been with families yeah and also with families it seems like there's um there's a group dynamic when it comes to accomplishments somehow if someone told me like oh your great uncle so and so was heir to this fucking massive fortune and you by extension are now royal family i wouldn't give a fuck yeah i don't know that it doesn't matter what you have yeah. i mean unless maybe someone was the founder of funko if my granddaddy was freddie funko 
<laughs> you best believe it. I'm going to try and get into that settlement. Yeah, but no, shit. no, I couldn't hear. And I think, like, even my mom, she'll, uh, she, she acts like she's really proud of me, but she doesn't know what I've gone through to, to accomplish the things that I have. She's like, yeah, my son is going to college right now to be an English teacher. He has been in the military and he's a sergeant and done so and so. Yeah. Like, but she, she talks about it like, I'm the trophy for yeah. doing all this. And by extension, somehow she is also, her and my family is tied into that somehow. When she's that's, acting that's like she's, all me and she's my acting wife. like she's the one that got you there. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel you. Or even that she can, she can just go on and say like that I've done these things without knowing the hardship yeah. that's, that's come with it all. No, I feel you. Make no sense. I feel you. I, I, okay. So, Growing up, I know this is going to sound cliche as fuck, but I've always been, I've always been the misfit in my whole family, like my extended family and everything, like all my cousins, all my aunts, uncles, everything. I've always been the fucking weirdo that was like listening to metal and getting into like fantasy stuff and like Lord of the Rings, nerdy shit, D&D, other than my cousin Douglas. Shout out Douglas, love you buddy. Um, but like everybody else was cookie cutter pasted into the family like they were yeah. they were part of the family visually mentally emotionally all that kind of stuff they had the same ideals the same um stuff that all my aunts and uncles and their parents and stuff had given to them and passed down to them and so forth but i didn't i didn't care i didn't i my parents raised me to be a free thinker and to think for myself and to like what i like not to force themselves on to me with like hunting and fishing even though yes i did have to do that stuff growing up but they yeah, were same. they were very aware of the fact that it wasn't really my cup of tea and they were fine with that but they said son we're <laughs> passing on free will to you that's your heirloom yeah exactly and i thank them for it every fucking day of my life it's great but i was always the one that was talked about behind my back by yeah. my aunts and uncles and uh, extended rel relatives and so forth. I never got in trouble with the law. I never got caught with drugs or substances. I never got arrested. I never, I never uh, gotten any fights or whatever. Growing up, I mean, like, I, I, like into my teenage years and so forth. But obviously, I did plenty of those things other than get arrested after that. But still, never was that me. But because I did and acted and looked and all that kind of stuff the way that I do, I was the one that was always getting talked about and shunned and laughed at and poked fun at and made fun of for being small or made fun of for wanting my hair to be long and so forth. But all of my other cousins, tons of my other relatives, drugs, getting into trouble, doing things that they're not supposed to be doing at certain ages, uh, sneaking out of the house fucking getting into fights with people getting thrown out of the house getting like DHS called on them like you fucking name of it or you name it like all that stuff happened to everybody but us but I was always the brunt of the joke you know like I was always the one that was getting the shit into the stick every time we went to family gatherings and all that kind of stuff so I was like at a certain age I was like nah I don't care about any of you guys I do not care you yeah. guys can deal with all your drama separately our family is like our immediate family like my mom and dad and siblings yeah we have our issues don't get me wrong every every family does but trust me i will take our issues over you guys' issues any fucking day of the week and i'm satisfied with that so yeah i also think that for me i don't have and it's probably horrible to say as a teacher i don't know that i have the capacity to have that much love and care to outreach to a bunch of strangers or even that many people all together i have a very close-knit group that my brain is already suffering from trying to remember all the little details of yeah uh and just well that's also because i want to i want to know about certain people's personal <coughs> lives and their triumphs and fucking downfalls and all that shit but it's so hard for me to care about other people that i've never seen before and i'll probably never talk to even if it was once a year which is another thing is like family gatherings like that are are always so forced and it's yeah. once a year 
if you don't ever see or talk to each other again, it's like, why, why do I have to give a shit? Yeah. We had we had a we had a, a, an annual Boker family reunion, which is on my dad's side. It's like my dad's extended family, basically. Um, and I think I went to one of those, or maybe maybe two of them. I I don't know. And it was just because I had the time. I wasn't doing anything, and my mom and, and dad asked me to go. So I was like, okay, sure. Hung out with Dean and Caden the whole time barely spoke to anybody else the whole time I was there and we had the most seasonless white people food you could possibly have <laughs> sounds like my kind of party and I was I was fed up by the end of it I was like oh nope I'm leaving I'm leaving I'm getting out of here and uh, they added me to this Facebook group specifically for the reunion that they only post to a couple times out of the year to remind people that it's coming up or whatever and I'm just like I, dude I don't ever go to these I don't ever I don't ever want to go to these. And it's the same thing every year. People show up, they hang out with the cliques of people that they already talk to on a regular basis, and then everyone goes home. Oh. They might pop into one of their other cliques and just say, Hey, how's it going? Haven't talked to you in a while. And then we get big fucking group pictures and family like separate family pictures and stuff like that while we're there. But why? Like when you got okay, so when my family, especially my extended family like that, shows anybody a big group photo like that to anybody they could probably name every single person in that group except for me except for you or Deanna or Kaden they probably don't know who the fuck we are because they don't care and we don't care either it's just a matter of like we're doing this to show face we're doing this to the for the fact that like are we just reminding ourselves that we have a big ass family like it, this is wild to me I don't know I don't get it doesn't make any sense to me either but i, I don't would, know how i fall I'd, how i fall for it every time either yeah uh, any, anytime these events come up i'm always like trying to say no to get out of it I even even for this one my grandma's like we're gonna start at like 2 30 or 3 and i'm like grandma i am at work right now i have a 14 hour shift i will be waking up at 2 or 3 and then i have a me- i have to go back to work for a goddamn meeting and then i have to come out there so it might not happen and i still for some reason, really wanted to make the effort just to be hurt and reminded that everyone sucks all over again. Nah, dude. You just gotta say no. You just gotta tell Grandma, dude, look, Grandma, I love you to death, but I'm not going. If you want me to come visit you privately, like, separate, sure, I'll come say hey, I'll come sit on your couch and we'll bullshit for a little bit, fine, but I'm not going to that fucking family thing. (coughs) That's what I I told, dude, I've told my grandma that before. I need to okay. start with that. I need to start doing that for sure. Like, if especially if you have a decent relationship with your grandma, like, absolutely, go visit your grandma. But I don't want to see anybody else. Sorry, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm I'm ruthless as fuck though, and I don't care. I do not care <laughs> in the slightest. Like, who it is, as long as it's not my mom or my dad. With most things, like depending on what it is, I'll say something to my dad. But if it's my mom, I just give in. Whatever, sure, whatever. I don't care. Anybody else outside of that? Even my siblings? Fuck no. <laughs> no, dude. If I don't want to do it, I'm not doing it. Yeah. And that's just the way it is. I was telling I was telling um, my girlfriend this the other day about how I, I'd seen somebody post something. Um, and it's, it's, it's a way that I've lived my whole, well, not my whole life, but the past at least 10 years or so, I've kind of like transitioned into this way of thinking. I just never put it into these words before. And it's the most simple of phrases, but it's fucking beautiful. And it's just, there are less rules than you think. And that, yeah. that, that like blew my mind. It's the stupidest fucking thing ever, but like, it's true. <laughs> there are less rules than you actually think about on a regular basis. Like, you don't have to go to family reunions. You don't have to love all of your family. You don't have to fucking say, hey, how are you doing to your coworkers if you don't like them? You know what I mean? Like, no, it's, all, it's all just been engraved into you it. and pounded into you over, like, because it's a social norm. Yeah. But it's, I feel like the people who do it, I don't know people that genuinely love seeing each other and, and following these dumb socially constructed rules because they also seem to hate it and they're following it. I don't know, man. People... Open your goddamn minds. Where's the get the yeah. glasses from? From they live from John Carpenter's. They live. <laughs> See the propaganda, <laughs> dude. I'm telling you, man. Just say no. Love who you want to love, 
Hang out with who you want to hang out with. Eat whatever whatever you want to eat. <laughs> Baby. Then go home and jack off. Yeah, then go home and jack off. <laughs> That's all you got to do. That's it. It doesn't make any yeah. sense to me why people put themselves through things that are genuinely, like, not good for them. Or they're not fun, you know? But... I think I just want to feel... <laughs> I want to feel pain. I want to be reminded. That's got to be why. I don't know why I do it. Well, smoke cigarettes then. Don't fucking go to family smoke reunions. Smoke cigarettes. <laughs> no, I'm Grandma, kidding. no, I can't come to the family reunion because I just picked up another pack of Marlboros. <laughs> no, I'm Grandma, kidding, I'm going to smoke this black and mild and have a whole piece of it myself. All don't right, smoke I'm cigarettes. not coming over. <laughs> Look, if you're gonna go to family reunions or like t uh, gatherings like that in anyway if you're just gonna do it anyway at least make it good uh, make it a good time go there and be a complete and total douche knob the whole time <laughs> yep. just piss everybody off every time they make joke people. on you joke back but like 10 times harder like like if they make a like a kind of a low blow joke make your next joke the most low it could be like bo like borderline they're gonna call the cops on you you know what i mean like just get fucking ugly about it yeah and then that would be puff, fun. puff your fucking marble right in their face and spit on the ground in front of them. I don't know. Just be obnoxious. Then they dude. won't. Then they won't want to invite you out to the next one. Exactly. You just you've just got a free card. Yeah, but you just do and say whatever you want. But at that point, you're gonna have so much fun being an absolute tool to everybody that you're gonna want to go to the next one. <laughs> so you can do it again. again. <laughs> yeah. Next time this guy's like fucking, oh, you're fucking underweight, dude. I'm gonna be like, you're a fucking vegetable. <laughs> Roll away. <laughs> oh my god, that is fucked. But that's awesome. I don't know, yeah, dude. I, I really... think, I I think that people just take, I think people take the the term family way too seriously, and like I would consider just about any one of my close friends including you derek toby like i would consider you guys family before a good majority of my family like easy yeah so i don't know dude i, okay. I think family's family's what you make it dude so i never made a movie with any of my blood relatives that's all i'm saying exactly well i guess i kind of did Kaden, yeah Caden was in there i suppose <laughs> and was in there yeah <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, uh, yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't get it. People are fucking wild. Yep. The conclusion is blood does not make family, and you do not. I always, I have started to live of the mindset that you do not owe your family anything. No. And it's it's hard for me to say that to myself because even though I have been traumatized and it's it's been a fu the the shit that I've gotten dumped into my head is so gnarly yet i always keep going back to like well there was this one time where they did this one really really awesome thing so i owe it to them but you don't yeah that's the secret <laughs> never and I, never i haven't learned it yet and that's another th another thing that kind of makes it hard especially for people like yourself is that people think that moms or dads because of their status as a mom or as a dad just means that you are responsible for holding them to the fact like holding yourself to the fact that they're your mother they birthed you or your father's yeah. you know uh your dad or whatever but that's not true for everybody you know like like in your case obviously your parents were not the greatest you know and there are people who have moms that are absolute just horrible human beings to them to them to themselves to other people like there are there are just because they are a mom doesn't mean they are a good person you know what i mean like there are great moms out there i'm, I'm not saying there aren't but just like there's great anything there's also bad stuff too you know and and it sucks that people that don't have a great relationship with their mothers or fathers or whatever have to um, be reminded of that, or they look, they look, or people look down on them because they don't love their mom be, just for being their mom and so forth. Uh, yeah, it's just not that easy, you know. It's not that simple. There's there's so much gray there that 
people don't realize because they may have a perfect relationship with their parents and some people don't you know well it's also it's also easy to have the title to uh whatever relative it may be mother father yeah grandparent uncle aunt brother even or sister you can have that title but if you don't fulfill the the responsibilities that come with it then your your fucking title is meaningless yeah exactly yeah, I don't know. I, I think that a, a lot of it does just have to do with society and the way that we have sculpted the idea of what a mother is or what a father is or uncle or aunt or grandfather or whatever. And yeah, it's also a big cultural thing too, depending they're all on where you live. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but they're all people, dude. They're all people. I'm a person. You're a person. My mom's a person. I do have a good mom, so I'm obviously I'm not talking about her, but like, I know people, I know, dude, I have friends that have mothers that are just the most degenerate scum of the <laughs> earth, and that sucks, dude. I, I don't even know how they are allowed to continue that title, you know what I mean? So, yeah, but it is what it is, I suppose. This has been a sad one. <laughs> nah, dude, it's been enlightening. Go out. Yeah. Pick your family. Go ahead and pick your family out, out of the people you care about and love the most. They don't have to be related to you in any way, shape, or form. Like, or just just go to the grocery store and grab the loneliest cashier. Be like, hey, you and me now, we're in this together. You want to be family now? Well, that's good, because we are. Also, I'm paying with debit. I don't know, just. <laughs> no, I don't have a max card. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, dude. It's it, as a matter of fact. Find find two of your friends, make a movie with them. I thought you were gonna say find two friends, just kiss them. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to kiss your homies on the mouth. <laughs> just just have an orgy, all right. <laughs> oh, dude. Wop spit. That's yeah. DNA. That makes you family at that point. Spit in each other's belly buttons and slurp it up. Yeah, because then your gut biome will adjust to theirs and vice versa. Yeah. You will you will be part of that same family tree at that point. Exactly. Exactly. Then you'll have somebody to pass down all of your belongings to. God, I feel so bad for I my kids. Buried with my, me. my kids are going to get so many rocks... They're gonna hate me. <laughs> They're just gonna dump them back in the ocean where they belong. <laughs> They're gonna sell them on eBay or, some, or Craigslist or some shit. Oh man, the second I pass away, they're gonna be like, "All right, go through Dad's rocks. We're selling all these motherfuckers, dude. I don't care." Dad, the only the only rock I care about is crack rock, and I need to sell <laughs> yours to get that. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Dude, as long as they keep, I don't care. Sell it all. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah say. Once I'm dead, I don't. I can't care about any of this stuff. It's yeah. cool while it's here. If it, if my house burnt down and I lost all this, I would kill myself. There'd be no <laughs> rebuilding. Yeah, there wouldn't be. Same. This is, this is my thing. This is what makes me who I am. Yeah. And my family doesn't know about any of this shit. Yeah. My family just mad at me because I have tattoos. <laughs> That's it. Dude, my family can't even be bothered about my tattoos anymore. Like, can't keep up. I think it. I think at one point they probably were pretty disappointed, especially my grandma's before they passed away, maybe. But uh, I don't know. My my dad's mom. I don't think she gave a fuck. She was pretty chill. But uh, I think my mom's mom cared quite a bit. And then as I, especially after this one, oh dude, it's game over. <laughs> they were just like. Oh well, <laughs> I, I suppose he's just gonna do whatever he wants. Probably worship Satan or something. I don't know. They can care in hell now. Fuck them. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Rip to them if they ever fucking saw my back, dude. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. My back's covered be, now, dude. You'll be sipping meat in Valhalla, and they'll be crying to Satan in hell. Exactly. You're goddamn right. I will be. <laughs> you'll be in that cabin. From the dream episode, just with your furs and your willow God. and your soup. Ah, oh, dude, that sounds immaculate. Can I just go now? 
I don't know. You just check, I was going to say, read the Bible and check with God first. <laughs> hey, yo, big dog, I heard you were, like, kind of judgy, so I just wanted to make sure I had no chance. No chance to get in here before I did this. I heard you got this pad. It's like, I'm looking for, like, a cabin on the hill type, <laughs> snow. He just make looks, that happen. He just looks down. He's like, nope, that's not me. And then I'm like, all right, see ya. I'm going to go ask Satan then, I guess. Yeah. Honestly, go, Satan probably walk, has a cool place like that. I'm going to go haunt the earth in purgatory then for all of eternity. Fuck it. Guess I'll haunt. Guess I'll go in the boys' bathroom and watch them pee. <laughs> but I'll be a ghost. <laughs> I'll, I'll ghost pee on them while they're peeing. They won't even know. <laughs> but That would be a hard play right there. Yeah, I'll know. All my ghost friends will know. Because they're going to be doing it too. I break into my enemy's houses and I just fucking bust ectoplasm all over them while they sleep. Nah, I would go into they a... They don't even know it. I'd go into a school to do it and then just like find the kid that's getting bullied the most and just pee on him even more. Just bully him even harder. Because <laughs> he wouldn't know. So what you get for having a fursona? Just <laughs> pissing on him. <laughs> I think I would just go and start destroying people's cars. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'd be fucking with the electrical and stuff. <laughs> Making people's engine lights come on even more. even more. I'd be gnawing on their wiring like a little rodent. I would make their engine lights change colors. <laughs> like while they're driving. The check engine light's on, but it's green. That means it's good to go. <laughs> Your engine is... Good. Good engine. Yeah, well, I just needed to get that out there, because, man, <laughs> every time, fuck it, every every time, dang it, yeah. I fall for it, fuck em, and dude. I do it, I always say it's the last straw, I'm not going to do it again, and then I do it again, I think I just like the drama at this point, I think I actually really enjoy getting hurt, just because I have the opportunity to hurt somebody else, <laughs> and then I also have a story to tell for the podcast, I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> Hit the sub button if you want more therapy. I mean, I, I do this for the shorts. <laughs> this one's gonna have some good shorts, I think. <laughs> hey, maybe if I decide to go through it all again, dude. Either, either just tell Grandma, nah. I'm. I'll come visit you in private. We'll chill. We'll go get some ice cream or some shit. But I'm not going to this fucking things anymore. Or make the best of it. Shit on somebody's yep. day while you're there. Shit on their whole parade. Matter of fact, every time they bring up family lineage, just say, fuck your family lineage. And then when they're like, but you're a part of that. Yeah, fuck me too. And then just walk away. I'm going to go into the church tomorrow while they're having dinner at four. And I'm just going to show up all tattoos. And I'm just going to be a total asshole. Don't. I'm going to make them fly back to San Diego a day early. Don't wear a shirt either. Just walk in with shirtless. Matter of no, fact, don't even wear fat pants. Fat stomach and hairy, hairy nipples. Don't even Can't wear pants. Do that. Show it all off. Right in the middle of church. Yeah. Just walk through the aisle and just like fart every time you pass a different pew. If I could control my movements like that, I think I would. Shit your pants. Just go ahead, shoot your pants. There are no <laughs> rules. Shoot your pants. Shit your pants that you're not wearing, because I literally just said don't wear pants. Um, Free will is an illusion. <laughs> shit your pants. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, I think that'll about do it. <laughs> Until next time uh, so. on family family trauma. No, I'm just kidding. This on is family on family feud. <laughs> <laughs> this is on thin ice. Make sure you hit the like button. If you like this video, <laughs> uh, also one like e equals one family member that will disappear dies. from reality. Okay, or dies. <laughs> also hit the sub button if you want to see anything else like what we've got on the channel. Um, we've got a bunch of stuff on here. Go ahead and check out uh, one of the other almost oh, 40 yeah. episodes that we have. And uh, yeah, catch you next time. Peace. See you all later. <laughs>